Hi there, welcome to Lux Attic. In today's video, we'd like to show you the 15 most expensive rums in the world. Sandy beaches, Caribbean rhythms, and a gentle breeze. We are all aware that rum has an outright tropical vibe that instantly transports you to the dance floor. And don't pretend you don't enjoy Latin music, we know that is not true. Rum enthusiasts are unanimous in their belief that rum, with its rich and silky mouth feel, sweet flavor, and distinguishing taste, is one of the best alcoholic drinks ever made. And genuine rum connoisseurs will not exchange their beloved aroma of rum for even the finest single malts. The history of a drink is frequently the most intriguing aspect of it. Not only do you get to enjoy a scrumptious beverage, but you also get to travel back in time and discover a period's lifestyle. It's a sensory journey that food connoisseurs, for instance, cannot replicate. Gourmets will never eat fruit harvested during the American Revolution or cheese manufactured during the Napoleonic Wars. Rum's past is not simple or pleasant but is an integral part of global history. Rum is the first refined and produced alcohol. It was also the first spirit that was drunk for fun, not for medical reasons. Without rum, we do not know how New England would have developed and what its principal trading instrument to jumpstart its prosperity in the new world would have been. However, we are getting way ahead of ourselves. Let's hit the road from the beginning. Rum's History Sugar cane cultivation originated in New Guinea and its fermentation happened in India as early as 350 BC. Nevertheless, in the past, these fermented fluids were mainly employed for their healing properties and not for drinking. Moving forward to the 1400s, when the explorers we all learned about in elementary school began discovering the world's trade routes, an environment favorable to sugar cane cultivation was identified. Sugar, like spices at that time, was greatly valued in the trade network, even though cane needed a lot of manpower and irrigation. Rum's eventual worldwide prominence began with Barbados' discovery in the early 1600s. Seeing that the area was ideal for growing sugar cane, Navigator Richard Ligon brought in Brazilian cane knowledge, including machinery and slaves, but most importantly, distillation competence. The first rum manufacturing occurred in the 1620s, and the famous drink was originally nicknamed Kill Devil or Rum Bullion, but was eventually dubbed rum in 1667. In little more than a decade, Barbados's sugar lords grew to be some of the wealthiest people in the world, thanks to a thriving sugar and rum trade market. Because of the vital role of rum in this changing industry, it's understandable why New Englanders were outraged when England attempted to put a customs duty on molasses from French colonial territories. This ultimately resulted in the 1764 Sugar Act, which imposed a charge on molasses. As taxes were levied on more and more goods in the colonies by England, the now famous no taxation without representation began to spread. Yes, friends, we are dangerously close to the Boston Tea Party. Who would have guessed that a huge percentage of this perilous slope toward revolution began with rum? So where do we continue from here? The British surrendered in 1781, and America screamed out for stability. Along the coastline, rum remained the preferred beverage, but the availability of molasses was badly affected during the war. Moreover, these new immigrants lacked expertise in sugarcane extraction but had lots of knowledge in grain distillation. What thrives very well in rural America? Grains. Thus, whiskey and other grain-based spirits gained appeal, while rum's notoriety steadily decreased as the newcomer got famous. Today, the biggest rum distillery remains in the Caribbean with Bacardi's huge San Juan, Puerto Rico, facility. Each day, it generates 100,000 liters. Nowadays, rum is about to get a shot at redemption. And not the type of second chance that involves rum and coke, but a genuine fresh start worthy of this economy developing, rebellion urging drink. What is rum made of? In the majority of cases, rum is made with molasses, a byproduct of the sugar crystallization process, and contains up to 5% sugar. How is rum made? To create rum, sugar cane juice or molasses is combined with water and yeast and allowed to ferment. The resulting wash can next be distilled to make rum. The alcohol and water are boiled together, releasing vapors that, once they have cooled, are collected and then condensed. After it's been distilled, rum may be matured either in a stainless steel tank or in barrels. Once aged, it is withdrawn from the barrel and put into bottles. Types of Rum As with other iconic alcoholic beverages, not all rums are created equal. If you haven't had the good fortune to taste every type of rum, you may be unaware of the diversity. 
Let us clear this up. There is, white rum, gold rum, dark rum, premium aged rum, overproof rum, navy rum, spiced rum, rum agricole, and cachaca. So, which are the 15 most expensive rums in the world? Let's find out, shall we? 15. New Grove Double Cask Moscatel Finish Rum, $95. Heavy and complex, the double cask Moscatel finish rum from Mauritius's New Grove distillery was aged in French oak barrels for seven years, and after that, it was shifted to Moscatel wine casks for an additional year. The Moscatel barrel imparts flavors of dry apricots, prunes, and a touch of nutmeg to the rum, in complement to the more traditional flavors of rich caramel and vanilla. 14. Bacardi Paraiso, $250. Paraiso is a mixture of rums aged up to 23 years and matured in cognac barrels. It was introduced as part of Bacardi's Ultra Premium line, the Facundo Rum Collection. The series is a tribute to the company's father, Don Facundo Bacardi Masso, and includes four handcrafted variations, the majority of which are designed to be consumed dry. 13. Pirate Rum Cask 1623, $285. An American entrepreneur, Martin Crowley, developed Anguilla rums on the island of the same name. This rum is a blend of nine premium Caribbean rums kept in oak barrels for up to 40 years. It is an exquisite, balanced spirit with subtle aromas of toffee, vanilla, citrus fruit, and mild spice. Each bottle is made of hand-blown glass and has a picture of Hody, the patron saint and guardian of bartenders. All of this is contained within a handcrafted walnut case. What a presentation! 12. Rum Clement Trace View 1952, $1,250. Habitation Clement has been producing rum for almost a century on the grounds of an old colonial sugarcane estate in La Francois, Martinique. Homer Clement noticed a strong market for booze. Being an entrepreneur, apart from being the mayor of La Francois during World War I, he purchased land and established the distillery, which he left to his son Charles. It was the latter who gave Clement rum its complex taste. Since 1989, production has been relocated, and this first-class 1952 blend is the oldest Clement rum produced in its original place. 11. Havana Club Maximo Extra Añejo, $1,350. Jose Arichabala founded the Havana Club trademark in 1878, and the company remained in the family until 1959, when the national regime confiscated the distillery during the Cuban Revolution. However, Havana Club was still a big hit, and in 1994, the French liquor company Pernod Ricard teamed up with the state-owned company. This ultra-high-end, extra-aged rum has 40% alcohol and is a blend of rums of various ages. Maximo is a constant addition to the brand's portfolio, with only 1,000 bottles made available each year. 10. Bruegel Papa Andres, $1,500. To celebrate the corporation's 125th anniversary, Bruegel Papa Andres was produced in 2013. Dubbed in honor of the brand's founder, Don Andres Bruegel, this superior rum was originally reserved for the exclusive use of the Bruegel family. It is sourced from a secret collection of barrels stored for more than a century in Bruegel's Puerto Plata vaults. The company's exclusive approach contributes significantly to the bottle's exorbitant price, but when a rum has a four-digit price tag, one expects the inside to be extraordinary. Well, it is. 9. Ron Bacardi de Maestros de Ron Vintage, 2012, $2,050. This was another special rum manufactured by Bacardi for Y2K, which explains the 2K price tag. Only 1,000 bottles were manufactured worldwide, and only 200 were made accessible to the general public. This rum comes in a hand-blown crystal decanter with a walnut finish and boasts a protective case and a short brochure about how it was made. To try the MCI, most of us would have to look for a venue that sells it, and even then, we'd have to pay an astronomical price for a single shot. However, its extraordinary array of impressive blends is worth the money and the fuss. 8. 8-Year-Old Bacardi, Millennium Rum Atlanta Special Edition, $2,800 Designed for the Atlantis Resort on the Bahamas Paradise Island to commemorate the new millennium, this bottle represents the pinnacle of Bacardi's portfolio and only 3,000 uniquely numbered bottles were produced. This rum's flavor is creamy and luscious, brimming with tropical fruits, citrus peels, and winter spice. 
The aftertaste is delicate and exquisite. 7. Bacardi Superior Rum Bottled in Spain in the 1940s, $2,825. Bacardi was established in 1862 in Santiago de Cuba and is one of the world's largest independently managed, family-owned spirits businesses. Facundo Bacardi Masso, a Spanish immigrant, produced the world's first white rum by purifying it using charcoal and aging it in white oak casks, which softened the beverage. When Fidel Castro's Cuban Revolution conquered the island in the 1960s, Bacardi successfully concealed its unique recipe, brand, and holdings in the Bahamas. It eventually relocated to Puerto Rico and Mexico, which facilitated trade with the United States. This is one of the oldest bottles of Bacardi when Bacardi was still made in Cuba, and it is a tremendous piece of rum heritage. 6. Original Royal Naval Rum Tot, $2,900 In 1655, the English Marines received their first daily taste of Jamaican rum. A significant component of British naval life, the allotment, or tot, was decreased in the early 1900s before being phased out entirely in 1970. This brought a stop to nearly 300 years of practice on July 31st, also known as Black Tot Day. To mark the 40th anniversary of the event, the surviving stock was re-bottled in 2010 under the label Black Tot, last consignment, thus its imperial value and high price. 5. 50-year-old Appleton Estate, $6,500 The Appleton Estate 50-year rum was created in 1962 to honor Jamaica's complete independence from the United Kingdom. Several barrels of Appleton rum in various blends were reserved by the premium rum distillery with the sole intention of maturing them for 50 years. The rum has a monumental caliber, with a complexity of tastes and an overall heaviness corresponding with its 50 years in oak, yet without being overly harsh. Besides that, what makes it noteworthy is also the fact that only 800 bottles were ever made. 4. Barbados Private Estate 1780, $12,700 More than two centuries in a bottle. This is a blend of light and dark flavors, and it is one of the oldest and most costly rums of all time, having been found in 2011 by the Earl of Harewood's aristocrats in their cellar. The rum was distilled in 1780 and was originally part of a much greater selection derived from the family's legendary Barbados plantation ownership. Trying a rum from 1780 is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to spend a few minutes wandering around in a time machine. Luckily, dreaming is free. 3. 1976 Dictador Generations and Lalique Rum, $16,500 the Lalique Dictador 1976 Generations is the first collaboration between a rum producer and the renowned French crystal designer. This rum has a rich and smoky aroma, with strong flavors of dark chocolate, suede, and Madagascar vanilla beans. A lovely blend of roundness, diversity of flavors, and the unusual spicy aromas brought by the American oak barrel. Worldwide connoisseurs, professionals, and investors in premium spirits will recognize that Lalique's expressive, magnificent crystal carafe for Dictador is as much a masterpiece as it is a container for great rum. Each bottle is individually numbered. 2. Legacy by Angostura, $25,000 Launched in 2012 to commemorate Trinidad and Tobago's 50th anniversary of independence, just 20 exquisitely designed cork bottles of Angostura's legacy were offered for a modest $25,000. All the bottles were quickly sold. The rum itself is a mix of the brand's seven most eccentric and highly regarded flavors, each aged at least 17 years. The bottle, designed by British jeweler Asprey, is adorned with sterling silver and comes encased in a leather handcrafted hardwood box upholstered with velvet and silk. 1. J. Ray and Nephew 1940s Rum, $54,000. It's not surprising that the most expensive rum originates from an island made famous by pirates and bad guys who appreciated their drink, Jamaica. In 1825, a man called Ray opened a bar in what would later be the country's capital, Kingston. Since then, the rum distillery has grown to be one of the most profitable companies of its sort in the archipelago. This 1949 bottle of rum is believed to contain a 25-year-old liquid from around 1915, and there are only four confirmed bottles remaining. When one analyzes rum, several classic pictures may pop up. Think. What comes instantly to your mind? The Godfather. Pina coladas on the Caribbean beach. Daiquiris at La Floridita and mojitos at La Bodeguita del Medio in Havana. And, 
Of course, Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. There is no doubt that rum has a rich and powerful history, and all the expensive bottles mentioned above are clear proof that rum has returned. And this time is for good. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that like button, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.